Hello YouTube, this is Sonic 2 kk here, and in this tutorial, we are going to be doing more Love 2D. Uh, now, if we run this program right now, you will see it says Hello World uh, in 10, 10. Now, why is it here? I mean, you would think that it would go across and then up, so you would think 0, 0 would be down here. Well, if you thought that, you're wrong. 0, 0 is up here. Now, the x and y co or the x coordinates still go along this way. Still go uh, left to right. Or right to left. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it goes normally for the x uh, axis. But the y axis, instead of going up, it goes down. Uh, there's a special name for this. I can't remember what it is. But uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, I personally prefer this way. In some other uh, frameworks, they don't do this. I know in LibGDX, it's anchored in the center. And in uh, Cocoa 2D, you can set it. But I think by default, it's in the center. The, uh, that's This is called the anchor position. And the top left corner is 0, 0. But the top left corner of your word is also 0, 0. Like, if you had an image, the top left corner would be 0, 0. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, I love that update. We didn't put anything in here. Uh, but why do we have the DT? Well, DT means delta time. And that means basically how much time passed from the last frame. And anytime you're updating an X position or a Y position, uh, you need to put in delta time. This basically means it'll go the same speed in all computers. Uh, just remember to have it as an argument and remember to multiply things back. If I can find one, I'll uh, link a Love2D thread uh, in the description that I found on Delta uh, so Sockwookie actually uh, did one of his tutorials. Uh, so you're going to put it in my description. But uh, yeah, on with the tutorial. So just remember, anytime you're doing some updates, you always have to multiply it by Delta Tim. Because uh, if you're running on a really, really slow computer, uh, and you don't multiply anything by delta time, your player will move really slow. But if you're on a, a big uh, beast of a computer, big gaming computer that costs you like 10 grand, uh, it will go super fast. Like if you ever play any of the old, old, old games, try to play on a computer now, they'll be faster. And that's because they didn't use delta time. So yeah, up here what we're going to do is we're going to define x equals... And y and x y. So x equals x plus one or uh, plus three hundred times dt. Y equals y plus three hundred and dt. Then notice how I multiply by dt. This will move at three hundred pixels uh of the se per second. Uh, I think Gawitcher calls this per second, just well, just do this anytime you're updating anything like this. Always remember to have DT. Uh, yes, so, if we run this, Nuno starts moving, but it doesn't come back. So what we can do is we can have an if statement here, saying if x is greater than uh, love.graphics.get width. Uh, yeah, this is uh, saying if the X position is greater than the width of the screen, this gets the width of the screen, or, I don't know, uh, then X equals X take away 300 times DT, if X, or if Y is greater than Love that graph. Get hit. And this will be exact because it'll probably have gone off the screen by the time it gets to there. You can do a better check if you want, but I'm not going to for this tutorial. I will right, well, take away 300 times D. It's not coming back. Oh, because it's probably moving off the screen by now. Uh, yeah, let's remove the X and just do the Y. 
I do not wish to purchase a sublime text to lessen. Oh, it's not moving it back up. Oh. Oh, because it's only it's greater than. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how you would do that. But it's not really important. <laughs> so it isn't. Uh. Yeah. Just remember to multiply things by DT. And also, if we. Uh, Run this, you'll notice the window says untitled. And we, we didn't we never defend We never defend uh how big we want the window to be. It just defaults to eight hundred by six hundred. That's what the window says is by the way. It just defaults to eight hundred by six hundred. Uh but say we wanted to change this. You know, say we wanted to give the window a name like uh the best game in the world. Uh how would we do this? Well, Luckily, the creators of love have thought about this, and they have given us a special function, or a thing called conf.lua. Just like this has to be called main.lua, this is the main file that your program looks for to run everything. This is a file that uh, love looks for for all your uh, configurations. So, we put a callback in here, love.conf. Uh... Then we put T in here. I don't think this has to be T, but uh, just remember, put T as an argument, and then width equals T dot equals three hundred. Title equals hello world. Now what did this do? Well, we uh, created a callback called, or we didn't create it, but we were, well, actually, technically, we did create the callback called love.conf and give it the parameter t, which is what we will use here, t.screen.width. And this basically sets the width of the screen to 500 and sets the height of the screen to 300. So 500, 300, 500 by 300, and then t.title. This should be pretty obvious. It uh, sets the title of the window to Hello World. So if we run this, we don't have to require uh, the file. We don't have to put it into our uh, folder. We don't have to uh, specify that we have this. and Because it looks for it anyway. So yeah, look, Hello World. Yay. So I accomplished all I wanted to accomplish in this tutorial. So, just remember, if you want to update any positions or update anything, always remember to multiply by DT. Always, always, always. And any update should always go and love that update. Any drawing should go and love that draw. And any loading should go and love that load. So, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. My name is Sonic and I will see you in the next Love 2D tutorial.